Hi, my name is Rama and I'm seated down here with two beautiful ladies and they're part of the organizing team for an upcoming event, a pool party under the theme Cocktails and Floaters. Welcome to the show. Hi, I'm Grace, part of the people organizing Cocktails and Floaters. My name is Florence. Great. But why, why a theme uh, pool party in a holiday? We thought of a pool party because it basically goes on during the day and also pool parties are things that Ugandans don't really have here. Those are not parties that are usually organized, so it's going to be something new. Yeah. Mm. And it would be amazing to show people that you can still have fun during the day and get home in time. You don't have to struggle Before with... Coffee. Yeah, you don't have to really <laughs> defy the government or struggle with you know to have a good time yeah we, we know you as uh, someone who is a fashion enthusiast yeah. so in the fashion sense how best can someone pull off uh, such an event uh, well for pool parties we encourage you to be free dress free and fun so summer dresses um, shorts hats sunglasses big hats swimming costumes you know don't wear something that's like too tight or like you have to be free basically so pool party is all about fun so you have to make sure your outfit allows you to be free and it has to be vibrant um the colors have to be bright you basically encourage white orange yellow green you know those colors that are fun and yeah uh, basically it's an event to um experiment with color experiment with uh, uh, the different different vibes nature so, daytime uh, true yeah, true true yeah. flores um what what does those things that you consider um, still talking about fashion like when you're living home or when you're planning to um, attend this kind of event what yeah. are those things that you need to consider um, personally yeah I have my hair going on and you know when you get to the pool yeah most of us girls I won't go into the water because my because hair will get hair. yeah you know so Expensive to clothes. avoid limiting myself like that I'm going to carry my hair band just like the one I have on I'll get in the pool have fun just like everyone get my hair together get the you know the hair done on and then i'll still look as amazing after the water you know yeah. it takes me to uh, makeup you don't need to have um heavy makeup you need to have a light um a light light makeup and then if you can have waterproof eyeliner waterproof mascara so that in case you swim it's not going to just pour down by by waterproof do you mean the actual makeup or you mean uh, the choice of uh, primer maybe I mean the actual makeup, like the eyeliner you're going to use, you have to make sure it's waterproof, the mascara, yeah, things like that. Alright, before the set, you were telling us about uh, your history of uh, organizing events. So how best do you think um, event organizers can use fashion to pull off such events? I feel like personally, I'm into events, yeah? So if I'm not going to have that full concept of the fashion, mm -hmm. I'm going to bring a good fashion house on board because this is wishlist fashion house and I'm decorator events so I'd rather get someone that knows it to the core to get people having a good time at the event and at the same time having their best clothes and their makeup on and you know the clothes. You can actually use a theme as well on top of collaborating with like a fashion house you can use a theme you create a theme for your event yes so all right what would you rather not uh, see someone dressed in like for uh, such events for I mean it's a pool party so what are those fashion no no's for uh, such events well I think um, skinny jeans you know are a no no like if you're to do jeans let them be short and then um, things like jackets boots so go with sandals yeah basically things that are free and fun and light yeah anything that's like so um, that gives off winter vibes is a no no all right, it's it's a pool party like um, these guys have explained to you. So we don't expect uh, heavy clothing on you. It's a vibe check. It's uh, you having fun. It's you networking. It's you moving around. It's you dancing. It's you moving your clothes and jumping it to the pool and being able not to stress getting them back on. So what are those recommendations for um, the fashion pieces that uh, they need to look out for for um, this event? Well, people should just look out for swimsuits and like she said get throw-ons you know to cover up after the pool time get shorts to put on top of your swimsuit get uh, big hats to protect you from the sun make sure you have sunglasses then don't forget your sunscreen and we'll be waiting to get those that are dressed in uh, skinny jeans in uh, jumpers in <laughs> so guys you need to uh, be ready for this so what are your last words and uh, how can people follow you in social media 
Um, well, we just want people to know that they are going to have a good time. It's going to be good vibes, good music, good DJs, good food, good cocktails. So come through, come ready with your group and the vibes. And then, yeah, like she said, follow us on Cocktails and Floaters. And then um, if you're looking for anything to wear for the pool party and you do not have something, just come to Wishlist Fashion House. We're at Crane Plaza at Kisementi, Shop F05. Yeah, we're waiting for you. Let's wrap up the show. Rama, who are you wearing tonight? Well, I'm wearing myself, I style myself, um, H&M sweater, or oh, you can choose to call it a, a high school cardigan. Uh, <laughs> next shirt, it's a formal shirt, and my pants are made in Uganda by me, I drew the sketch. I'm on that Virgil Abloh journey as well, I love that so you. help me God. And my beautiful shoes, this is called uh, perforated leather uh, from Iconic Underground, you can check them out on Instagram. And of course, like I always say, don't forget to follow me at Trauma Kizito, Instagram, Facebook, Twitter. Nicole, you look so fabulous tonight. Tell us about your makeup and your look. Yes, um, my makeup is by Sheila, the one and only Sheila. Please the check her out. Ongo. Yes, <laughs> please check her out on uh, all social media handles. And then um, I'm just by Iconic. So find them at Senana Building in Kampala City Center. Nice, and nice. Betina. All right, my <laughs> hair is by Sparkle Saloon. Makeup by Sheila. Makeup skin by BT Beauty Uganda. And this is my wardrobe. Oh my wardrobe. Well, guys, we shall see you next Friday. Same place, same time. Good night. <laughs>